Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. Today is an exciting day because Xiaomi finally launched the Redmi Note 7 Pro. It was a global launch in India today and I have to tell Redmi Note 7 Pro looks really really promising. Especially for the price of Rs 14,000, it is offering some insane specs as always and Xiaomi was right, this is the most awaited phone of the year and I am really happy with the pricing. Now one of the main highlighting features of Redmi Note 7 Pro is the 48 megapixel camera. Yes, you heard me right, 48, 48, 48 megapixel camera on the rear side of this phone. Now today in this video, let's find out the truth about this camera. Is it the same as the Chinese variant where the sensor is 48 megapixel but the image is actually 12 megapixel? Like, you know, let's find out what's really happening behind the scenes with this 48 megapixel sensor. Without wasting any more time, let's begin. So first up, let's actually talk about the sensor present on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. So this phone comes with a Sony IMX586 sensor and it is in fact a 48 megapixel sensor. So they are not lying about the sensor at all. It is a 48 megapixel sensor and the size is half inch which is very big for a smartphone. In fact, it is the biggest sensor on any smartphone right now. Like it is even bigger than the iPhone XS Max which is crazy because this phone costs only 14,000 rupees which is a fraction of the price of the iPhone XS Max and I'm really glad that you know Xiaomi is put such a good sensor. Now what about the actual image quality? We know that the sensor is 48 megapixel but is the processor capable enough to click 48 megapixel photos? Well it is. So Xiaomi is using the all new Snapdragon 675 processor in this phone and it is capable of capturing 48 megapixel pictures which is kind of awesome. So yeah, in Redmi Note 7 Pro you do get the option of capturing actual 48 megapixel photos. But there's a catch. So if you buy the Redmi Note 7 Pro right now and you know just start shooting in auto mode then it is going to be a 12 megapixel image. But if you want that 48 megapixel image you'll have to go into the pro mode and switch on the 48 megapixel mode. After you do that you will get the full quality and yes it is in fact 48 megapixels. It is not a gimmick you will get the full quality picture which is kind of crazy because even my camera is not that high quality. My camera is a 24 megapixel camera and this phone has a 48 megapixel sensor which is literally mind-blowing. Now do make a note that higher megapixel count doesn't really translate to a better image. Like there are a lot of factors which are involved in the overall image quality that is the overall image output. So for example if you take the pixel phones they have literally the best camera on the smartphone market right now because of the image processing software. So the image processing software on smartphones plays an important role when it comes to photography. It is called as computational photography and it is a very big aspect in the smartphone market right now. So please make a note of that. Now where the advantage of this 48 megapixel sensor is in terms of editing the photo. So when you are editing the photo in post production you have a lot of detail and that's why you can edit a lot. Like without losing a lot of quality you can edit the images and you know they look pretty good. So maybe if you are using something like Lightroom Mobile or Snapseed you will really notice a difference from other smartphones because the quality is so high. So when you increase the brightness, decrease the brightness or contrast and highlights, shadows or you know maybe something like vignetting or adding detail or adding sharpness and all those things, you will really notice a difference because the image has so much detail in it. Also one more advantage is when printing the photos. So if you want to have like big prints of your photos that you click from your smartphone, you can do that now because the image quality is so high. So I'm really excited for this 48 megapixel camera and one more advantage that I forgot to mention about is zooming in. So even after you zoom into the picture you will have a lot of detail. So essentially you are getting lossless zoom. It is not exactly lossless zoom but if you consider an image of 12 megapixel so yeah you are getting a lossless zoom and you know that's a pretty big advantage. So if you click a wide angle shot and after that if you want to zoom in you can do that while preserving all the details. So yeah, that was a lot of information about the camera and I'm pretty glad that Xiaomi is doing this. This is something different and no other phone in this segment has this feature and I'm really glad. And the pricing is just on point. 14,000 rupees for Snapdragon 675 and that awesome camera, well, I'm down. I'm gonna buy this phone in the first sale itself 
and if i can buy it before that like if i can get an f code or something then i'll do that and i'll make a lot of videos on the redmi note 7 pro that's why if you haven't yet please subscribe below because i will be covering the redmi note 7 pro in detail and there will be a lot of videos about it so anyway that's been it thank you so much for tuning in i hope that this clears the 48 megapixel camera on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and if you still have doubts then please feel free to mention them in the comment section down below. Also if you like my content please hit that like button. Anyway that's been it my name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one.